What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. Guess who quit YouTube again? And you know, what's interesting is, if Chantal, who constantly wants to talk about accountability and say, you know, YouTube needs to hold everyone accountable, all the reaction channels, for what they've done. Chantal, if YouTube held you accountable to actually leave the platform, every time you've said you're going to leave the platform, you would have been gone months ago. It's almost like this is the only current way you know that you can get attention, so this is what you're doing. We didn't even get a full day into Ramadan, and you're sitting here with a white tissue, waving the white flag, saying you quit. Today, though, there was a little bit more reflection, right? Today, it was she's tired of people using her content for money. So basically, she's tired of seeing people go and take her streams while she's doing them. She's tired of seeing people reuse her content. And the reality of this, Chantal, is very simple. You are not using one tool YouTube has if that's your concern. So don't tell me that that's your problem. Don't tell me that all of a sudden you can't handle the fact that people re-upload your content because they've done it for years. They've given you a lot of promotion and they've helped you build your channel. Believe it or not, the community has helped you build your channel. In spite of all the things you've done, in spite of all the things you've said, the community as one has actually maintained your relevancy even as you continue to do this. And now you want to sit here and project that everyone else is the issue. But the issue ultimately continues to come down to money. You even said it in this stream. Everyone else won because you're tired of making less money. You know, Chantal, if you sat down and made quality content, if you made content people could, I don't know, comment on, that might be a big start. I mean, look at how much you closed the door on your quote-unquote Beezers. Look at how much you close off the people that actually pay you every month. You give them a random time that you go live and they can chat. That's it. There's nothing else. Remember earlier this year when you laid out this whole schedule of five days a week, six days a week, I think, where you were constantly going to be doing something every single day between YouTube and Twitch? You have all these grandiose plans, but they remain that, just plans. And then as you don't follow through on these plans and your channel fails, you want to blame everyone else. You know the reason everyone else is successful is we allow people to engage with us. We allow people to interact with us. In many cases, we have pretty consistent upload schedules. I mean, I try to upload once a day. It's not always possible, but I try. And I try to have a video up between 9 and 11 a.m. Eastern Standard. And I try to have a video up between 5 and 10 o'clock Eastern Standard. I'm not throwing videos up randomly at 3 in the morning talking about you. You talked about a time for change, that you didn't feel that you could create content here anymore. And for much of the stream that I watched, all you did was sit there and cry. And say that you no longer wanted to share your life. You are in control of what you share on this platform, believe it or not. You are the one that wanted to go create a separate couples channel. So now why is it you judging everyone else for reusing that content? Also, I would offer that a lot of the things that you frustrate yourself with that others do, whether you want to admit this or not, you certainly do it to other people as well. Now, maybe that's some reflection. Maybe you know the things that upset you. And you use those to, I guess, assume they'll upset others. But you also like to broad brush a lot of things. You know, Chantal, a lot of creators don't talk about your weight. I know that you like to harp on that. I know that you like to sit there and say, this is what they're doing. But the reality is, a lot of us simply talk about your actions. And your actions are far heavier than your weight ever will be. You sat there today and projected that people are talking about your faith transition. Chantal, people aren't talking about your faith transition. We're talking about your inability to honor the faith that you're supposedly transitioning to. 
and understand that when those two things combine, your actions and your supposed faith conversion, there's a lot of things that don't align with what you should be doing following this faith. And that is going to create talking points for just about every person that follows you. The same way they create talking points for just about every viewer that you have. I know it's easier for you to sit there and say, they don't like me because of my size. But the reality is, Chantal, because of your clothing, based on your faith, we really haven't seen your size in a long time. In my opinion, before, we were seeing way too much of your size. You were constantly coming on here almost mocking people by flashing them. So, in closing, you said that you don't have to work anymore. That Salah's income is going to suffice and that you don't need to keep the channel going. So as I've offered to you before, again, let's talk about what Chantal has control of and what Chantal doesn't have control of. Chantal actually has control of a lot of things. You can sit there and cry to your audience and portray yourself as this person that's just been humiliated by YouTube, but the reality is, although I wouldn't recommend it, if you really wanted people to stop using your content, you would go and start striking channels. You won't do that because you know if you do, the entire community will shut you off. Justifiably so. Secondarily, you control every aspect of your life that you show. If you don't want to show Sala at the beach, if you don't want to show yourself eating food, if you don't want to lay there and take handfuls of rice and shove them in your face, then don't do it. If you don't want to have people sit there and talk about the things you say about others, then don't sit there and make community posts about every creator. Don't sit there and talk about where they work and what they do for a living. You're in control of all those things. Good and bad. You could theoretically project that you have this perfect happy life that you so desperately tell us every day you live. But I think a big part of the issue is you. You are not happy. You haven't been happy. And you tried to put all these things in your life, assuming that it would generate happiness. You got so caught up in telling everyone else what you wanted to have that you never stopped to think about actually achieving it. And now you're dealing with the ramifications of not having the income you expected, not having the income you need, and watching others be more successful in the process. And I will side with you, and then I can only imagine that is a very much frustrating thing to watch. I could not imagine what it's like to have someone make a small fortune off the content I make while I make a fraction of what they do simply because how frustrated people are with me. But that is the very unique position you were in. But you have two channels both of which can be moderately successful by your own standards. I recall you hearing you say with your couple's channel, you only wanted 3,000 video views per video. You have every opportunity to create content as you have no job, and you have every ability to control exactly what people see. That's not going to stop people saying things, but it can certainly control what they're able to say. So the next time... You decide to make a video, you create a community post that says, you know what, guys, I'm sorry, I acted out of emotion, you know how I am, I deleted the video, and I'll see you tomorrow. Understand that sooner or later what's going to happen is, you are going to turn the people off that actually do pay what bills you have left. And when they are gone, you really will have no use for this platform. Because no one is going to trust you when you're saying that you're coming here to make content, where you say you're leaving because you don't want to make content anymore. Love to know your guys' thoughts on this. Appreciate you watching this video. And you know, just like Chantal after that video saying she quit, I will be back as soon as I can with more content.